Eddie Fishmos, everybody. Early morning on the lake here, trying to get into some whitefish. We were here uh, two days ago and we got our limits on whitefish. And now we're gonna try again. Well, obviously on camera, I'm probably not gonna catch anything, but at least we're gonna get to hang out. Emily's already in business here. Hey guys. How's it going, buddy? Good. We're fishing on Weedy Bottom, about uh, 12 feet deep. I already had a couple of uh, fish marks. We're starting to get a bit of light here, so it's gonna get a bit better for filming, so I can take you guys along. Man, this is way overdue. Like I said, the other day we got our limits, but I just couldn't film. It was minus 25. I was in the tent, my cameras were fogging up. So uh, I decided to leave it for another day when it's warmer and I can film outside. And this is that day. Oh, there's a fish mark. He's on my cylinder spot. First fish, we had to move, get away from the weeds. Emil got for his first, his first fish. First fish of the day, baby. White fish on the, let's see here. On the slender spoon, more than likely, huh? Yeah, slender spoon. Gold. Nice. First fish, we, uh, we moved from that side. We had too many weeds on the bottom. I'm trying to film the sonar and there's too much interference, so we moved here to a more sandy bottom for your entertainment, guys. A little bit murky today. I have a slender spoon and a gold wire worm. Um, you need to have that flash in the water so the fish can actually see and be attracted to your lures. the worm <sighs> so I just jumped out of the hole took the worm <sighs> so I just jumped out of the hole Wow, I wish they were all like that. So, like I said, I'm fishing a gold wire worm and a gold slender spoon. This guy, uh, I could tell he was playing with a slender spoon for a bit. And uh, after that, he decided to go up for the wire worm. I knew he's a goner.
there he is, right under the ice, guys. You just gotta tease them, make them, uh, make them think they're gonna. Ooh, 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 ooh. Make them think. I gotta make sure I don't lose this guy. I only have four pounds leader. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Another one on the wire worm. Bad idea to put a remote for my uh, for my phone uh, camera there on my wrist. I managed to put it in the water now. Just gonna switch it to my right hand. Garmin Striker 4, guys, uh, it's gonna do the job for you. You don't need any fancy live scopes or anything like that. You just need something to see where the fish is so you can, uh, you know, act accordingly when he's coming. Okay, I gotta go shoot this, guys. <laughs> Capture of the day. I think Emil, uh, Emil beat everybody up with this guy. Show me that monster. Yeah, look at this little guy. The oh, monster of the day. That's good bait. That would make good bait. Just throw him back. Back in he goes. There he goes. Uh -huh. Good job. That was that was a monster fish. So what I'm doing right now with my right hand, I'm just pounding the bottom. And as soon as something shows up around my hole, I'm just gonna let my uh, my right hand i'm gonna release the rod and uh, i'm gonna concentrate on my left on the slender spoon and the, the wire worm the whole idea is to use my uh, right rod as an attractant and uh, use my left rod to catch the fish so right now i'm gonna be a bit more aggressive in my jigging Put those flashes out there in the water, let the fish know I'm here. Like I said, on my right hand, I'm just pounding the bottom. As soon as a fish is being marked on my sonar, then I'm just gonna take it easy, uh, settle down a bit with, uh, with the jigging. This is why on this lake, having a sonar is very, very important. If you don't know, uh, if, you don't know if the fish is underneath you or not, and you just keep jigging vigorously you might just turn the fish off your uh, or lure or just you know he might not even be able to get it Took the slender spoon. And he took the slender spoon. Finally got one on the slender spoon. Fish number three, guys. This guy took the slender spoon. 
and he was aggressive. Time to uh, bleed him out. Like I said, I'm gonna try to keep uh, my limit here today. I don't come fish this lake too often, maybe two, three times a season. So if I can get my limit, I'll take it. There's a lady walking her dogs here and the dogs on that house there, they're just going nuts. Oh, there's a fish. I was looking at the dogs and I almost missed this fish. And I missed the bite. Oh, no. <laughs> no. I just missed the bite on this fish. I was looking at this dog walking around and getting all the other dogs agitated. Oh, he's back. No. <laughs> uh, that's one way to miss a fish. Besides, I don't know if you guys can hear it on camera, it's making some pretty interesting sounds. Uh, we're at about two feet deep, I would say. So the ice is plenty safe, but man, these sounds, they make you think, you know, what's going on. <laughs> Am I gonna go swimming today or not? I was gonna bring my family here today and do some fishing. Uh, problem is exactly what I'm showing you guys here on the sonar. It's a pretty technical uh, lake. I mean, you can, fish without a sonar and hopefully you'll get a fish but even with seeing the fish on the sonar you see guys you gotta try to lure the fish you gotta try to tease him I mean not a place where I think my kids would have fun and catch a lot of fish I think I'm gonna take them to a different lake next time we're gonna be out fishing and I'm gonna take you guys as well uh, we're gonna go for uh, stocked trout a lot easier to catch uh, and I am positive the kids are gonna have a blast uh, it's been cold kids been in the house uh, we didn't get to do much it's been minus 30 for a few days it's been storming snowing so uh, they're they're itchy they're craving to get out I mean we went sledding a couple of times and uh, you know, try to make the best out of it. Here's another fish. He's gone. He was interested uh, on my uh, slender spoon for a little bit. Oh, he's back. Come on. Just take it. <laughs> Just take it. Come on. I can tell he's just... He's just probably floating there looking at it. Try to give him the wire worm, see if he's gonna. Will he go for the wire worm? No. Still interested in the slender spoon. So, as I was saying, oh, he's back. He just doesn't want to let me talk. Come on, just do it. He's going for the wire worm. I think this one is gonna be a goner. Man, he's just playing with me. He was this close to biting. This close to biting. Okay, so for the fourth time, 
We're gonna take the kids out uh, on chain lakes. Here he is again. Keeps interrupting me. Come on, at least boy, at least boy. just doesn't want to so the trick for this fish to come to my lure is for me to start talking about taking the fish uh, taking the kids fishing to chain lakes uh, today we couldn't go there because there's high there he is again there's high winds and it's just not not a good time to go fishing there um, but yeah, as soon as we got a chance, we'll, we'll take the kids there. They're very excited to go fishing again. I didn't take them fishing still since summer, so this is gonna be their ti first time. Uh, this is gonna be this, their first time ice fishing. I'm pretty excited to take them and introduce them to uh, to this aspect of the sport. You guys, uh, if you wanna come along, please subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Uh, Please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can be up to date with all the videos I put up. Again, friends from all over the world, thank you for watching my videos, subscribing. I notice all of you. Here's the fish again. Come on, I gotta catch this fish for you guys. I really gotta catch this fish. Hit that like button. If I catch this fish, hit that like button. <laughs> Or don't. I don't know. I don't know. It might be just a little perch uh, messing around down there. It looks like a pretty decent mark, so I really don't know. I really don't know what it could be. My guess, whitefish. Uh, it's just a smarter one, you know. He's actually. Uh, he's actually. <laughs> getting the best of me today but I was, as I was saying guys I'm notice, noticing everybody thank you for uh, subscribing and watching my videos to all my American friends Canadian uh, friends I noticed a lot of people watching from Russia a lot of people watching from uh, you know Turkey oh here it is again Marius something big Emil is out there pulling on something big and I am here with a fish that doesn't want to bite so ay 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 what's going on This fish is just playing, I swear. Trying to catch this fish is fun, but frustrating. doesn't want to take it. Come on. 
he's on the slender spin, but he's just just playing. Chance at this fish. I think he's gone. <laughs> oh man. That's the best I could get out of him, guys. A small nibble. I felt him on the line, but just didn't work out. Couldn't catch this guy. Good for him. Good for him. Oh, he's going for the way world. I just gotta blink it back up. Come on, buddy. Just bite it. You know you're gonna you're gonna lose it if you don't. Oh wow, that was a very interesting. Fish right up in the ice. Ooh, he's attacking it right under the ice, guys. He's coming again. That was an interesting play. That was interesting. Oh. You took the slender spoon. And my worst fear happened. <laughs> Pulling the fish out of the hole, he got caught into the trans transducer wire. I tried to yank in the transducer wire and what it did, it just took the slender spoon out of the fish's mouth. Oh, man, that hurts when it happens and you know it's gonna happen. I gotta get used to pulling the transducer out right after the fish bites. There you go, guys. This time it was the wire worm. I took out the transducer, so we don't have any more surprises. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Come up, come up. Just come up. There you are. Pretty boy. That's it for today, guys. Uh, we're gonna head home. Made it. We're getting marks here and there, but nothing is really committing. Uh, at this point, it's just a waste of time. I'm okay with four fish, Emil is okay with three. Uh, thanks again for watching, thanks for coming with me. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that uh, like button. It really helps the channel. And uh, I will see you guys next time.